How much for this thing? Five bucks is still in the package. If you know someone that loves more yeah. things, I mean. What do you do too? Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? Good. How are you doing? Doing good. Just gonna check you out here. Yeah, definitely. We're still in the process okay. of putting it out. out, but we're gotcha. working gotcha. on it. Gotcha. We did not. Uh, I know my mom was like, Darren's all bundled up. He's cold out. It's a weight belt. It's yeah. nice. How much you want for it? I don't know. A couple bucks. A couple bucks. Did you take a dollar? Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Yeah, you just do. so you can, you can adjust it. Into... Okay. So we'll go. Cameras in here too, somewhere. Oh, okay. Some cameras. Yeah, they're just koozies. Oh, that's nice. What is yeah, that? It's a little Nikon. Nikon. How much are you asking for that? Six. These cameras? Oh, they're ten dollars each, but we'll take five. Where, where's the other one? Okay. It's right here. It has one has the black case and one has a green case. Okay. There's a blue one, yeah. And yeah. this is a blue one right here. And the charger is right on the back. Yeah. You said you take take five? Yep. Yes, sir. They work pretty good. Oh yeah. I charged them both last night, okay. emptied all the images. Uh, they are bad. a fresh start. That's fair. You grab the phone and stuff and stuff? I did not grab it. Help yourself. I'll tell you, you got some stuff. <laughs> Looking at your golf club. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. It's three bucks. What? Excuse me? Is that three dollars? It, it is. All right. Yeah, I'll take three bucks. Cool. You want seven fifty for the bike? Seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Oh, you are a guy. I'm sorry. Oh, there's I'll... two. Which one? There's. Oh, oh that's. Yep. You good? I'll go look at your golf club. <laughs> I think really wants you to turn. <laughs> I know. I'm keeping on. I'm trying not to get lost in the neighborhood. It's easy to do that. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty tiger. My wife might like this one. That's the cool ones. This too, if I can get into my He'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll start moving the stuff off of that. Turn left on Southern Cottage Way. Then turn right on Twelve Street. I'm gonna get this thing. That's right. Put the bikes. You're seeing both bikes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. He's on her. That's cool. Uh, that's make, uh, that's four. Hey, look, that's a train. Christmas story train. I'm going to buy the train in this thing. Yeah, I'm going to make a pile. It was full of oh, wait, I don't. Yeah. 
You ain't got any more golf clubs y'all want to sell, do you? No. Nah. Yeah. yeah I used a dollar fifty. He really wants to get rid of them. He got the good ones back there. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll check out. Four, five, six, seven. I just can't get enough of these things. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'm just making a little pile over there. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm shopping. Yep. <laughs> would you take would you take ten for all of it? Yes. Yeah. Do that. Hey, how y'all doing? Good morning, how are you sir? Good, good. For this thing, five bucks is still in the package. If you know someone that loves more yeah. things, I mean, what did you do too? Huh? Did you do too? Heck yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> you know it, man. All right. But on, you I mean, I usually look for golf clubs at yard sales. No, no, no. I would, I, I'd like to upgrade mine as well, but uh, I don't play enough to really justify that myself. <laughs> man, I, I wish I had the time to do it. I haven't found it yet. I don't know. Sometimes I even have a hard time. Man, I got two bugs. That's my last two. Dollars. Hold on. What do you got? Okay, there you go. You're good. Okay. I was about to say, all I right. break something. That would work. All right, man. All right, man. Got a boat, so. Enjoy, sir. Yeah, man. What's this over here? Boat speakers? How much are those? You want to do four for them? Four. Yeah, this one, too. Yep. I'll do I'll do ten for the but for both, and that's, like, awesome. Because the ten both. two were my brothers, and the gray ones were, my, were mine. They, they all they work, so. All right. Do five. Seven. Okay. I can do that. Oh, yeah, we don't have any of that. Yeah. <clears throat> How much for your camera? Yeah, uh, yeah, with $50 for it's, that plus all the accessories. I got gotcha. you. Kind of cool though. Yeah, it's signed by Hazard Circuit. Tom Lehman, British Open 96 champion. Yeah, I, I'd break the glass. <laughs> no, you probably want more. Would you do 20 on the camera? 30 and 30. It's a little camera. Does it work? I would think so. He has a you have to take the lens cap off and then through it. I gotcha. You wanna do twenty on it? Nah. nah. Gotcha. I'm gonna think on it. Hey, how you doing? Let's go look at your golf clubs. Just a couple clubs. Okay. Too bad. That's that trusty rusty. How much are you asking per club? For what? The club. The club. $10 each or all three for 20 That one uh, that you had up, that friction wedge? Yeah. The oh. one with a groove in it? That thing was supposed to be mm. cure-off and expensive as heck. I don't know what you Would you do 10 for all of them? Wait, would I do what? Would you do 10 for all of them? No. 15? Do 15? 15, sure. Okay. Yeah. What? He's started. laughing at me. Well, our daughter's <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm back home now. I got everything unloaded. I got all my items that I found at the garage sales on the table. So what I'm gonna do now in this video is kind of go over everything that I found, give you some soul comp values. I'm gonna throw it in the screen here. 
basically what it was sold for last on eBay and probably give you another rundown of what I paid for it. But of course you can see that from the clips what I did pay for it. So with some great deals out there, I found some good stuff that sells very fast. So hopefully you can get some good information out of this video. So guys, I'm gonna turn the camera around now and dive into the items that we found. All right guys, the first items I wanna show you or go over with you are these two cameras. I got these at the first sale. This one's a Canon PowerShot ELPH115LS, that's the model number. And these little cameras right here, looking them up, I didn't look them up at the sale. I just know these little cameras do pretty decent. For five bucks a piece, I know it couldn't go wrong anyway. So this one right here, the, the Canon sells for anywhere from 30 to $40. Of course, it's got this really nice case with it with the battery charger. And then we got a Nikon Coolpix um, digital camera here. And this one I think sells for about 25, 35 as well. Somewhere in that price range. And it came with a case as well. And this one just takes regular batteries. So not too bad for five bucks a piece. And then at the same yard sale, I did pick up this weightlifting belt. I don't know, I don't think it's worth a ton of money. It was made of all leather, I took a gamble. A dollar I think they sell for like maybe 15 20 bucks so you know just thought I'd take a stab at that all right guys next up we got is this craftsman combo kit laser track this little laser that you use while you're trying to you know make a precision line see four in one laser level and laser guided measuring tool I mean I don't know a whole lot about it but I paid three bucks for it and it goes for like 30 35 bucks on eBay I mean it was it's never been used it's got a nice little pouch inside of it I'm not gonna break it open but yeah, not too bad there for three bucks. Thought I'd pick it up. Anything Craftsman too, and it's like new. I, you know, worth a stab of picking it up, at least looking it up as well. All right, guys, moving on. I did go to one sale where I picked up two Bose speakers and this Trivia Pursuit game. The Trivia Pursuit game is the Lord of the Rings, the movie trilogy collection, collector's edition. This thing right here sells for anywhere from forty to fifty dollars on eBay. I mean, it is really decent score here. I paid I think two bucks for it. wasn't much. I mean, he was real lenient on prices. And then I picked up these Bose speakers. I forgot how much I paid for these. I won't say it was no more than five bucks a piece though. I mean, we got a, a pair of these here. These are Bose. Things took up to the computer. Companion 2 Series 2. I want to say these sold for like 30, 30, 40 bucks. Of course, they're on the sold comps in the screen here for you. And then we got these here. These are for like a home theater system. These Bose speakers are. And I want to say these were pretty decent as well. These are around $40, you know. So anything Bose, you definitely want to look out for and get them cheap. I mean, even if you can't test them, I would still buy it. So I've sold plenty of Bose stuff in the past. And these are definitely something I hope to make some good profit on, not spending a whole lot of money. All right, guys. Next up we got is, this actually came from like one, it was a decent yard sale. Like I got a lot of stuff pretty cheap. But the biggest thing was this thing right here. It's a Christmas story, you know, battery, battery powered train car and made by Lionel. And I want to say this thing was selling on eBay for like, I don't know, it was kind of weird. It sold cost. A lot of people taking offers, but I think this thing's worth like 40, maybe $50. Really good thing to pick up during Christmas time. I'm sure I'm going to sell it and hopefully get 40, 50 bucks out of it. And look, it's got a little Ralphie up there. If you remember that guy, if you don't know who that guy is, just tune in to like any, you know, TV station on Christmas day, this movie will be playing. One of my favorites anyway. So I got that. And then I got these neoprene weights. And these are Reebok neoprene, 10 pound, like square, dumbbells you got a little bit of cosmetic wear but i was looking these things up and these things sell for around like 30 40 bucks and it looks like they do pretty decent so i'll throw the soap comps in the screen i think that's what i saw on that and then i did pick up this nice michael kors purse i'm not ashamed to pick up lady stuff i mean my wife is constantly teaching me and showing me stuff with lady stuff i can kind of identify it i'm pretty 99.9 percent .9 sure this is a real leather michael kors purse Look, she only wants 750. I got all this for 10 bucks, including some Christmas decorations I'm using for myself. But um, 750. I mean, I don't have that much. I have 10 bucks for everything. But this purse right here, I think is worth around, I'd say at least 30, 40 bucks. If I can find a soul comp in one of these, I will throw it in the screen. But um, definitely was a good pickup. My wife has a lot of good luck selling these things on the Facebook Marketplace. I usually will hand it off to her and let her sell it. So that was a solid find there at that yard sale. Yeah, same yard, so I did pick up the Slozinger tennis racket. This tennis racket, I mean, it's worth like 20 bucks. Had like a little medium thick beam there, and that's normally what I look for. But yeah, the Slozinger tennis racket, I'll throw the comp on the screen. This is the Slozinger XL 2.5. I love picking up tennis rackets, and this thing sells for like 20 bucks, so not too bad. All right, guys, next up we got, I didn't actually, I wasn't filming when I found this stuff, so, but I'm gonna go over with you. I found this nice LL Bean jacket. I'm not sure if it's vintage or not. Man, it is pretty hefty. I've tried it on. I mean, it'll keep you warm for sure. So I guess you would call this a ski jacket. 
and ll bean stuff sells very well especially right now if you got winter jackets and then i also got these tennis rackets with it we got a head this one's called the ts1 pro you see right here or tis1 pro and then we got a prince i think this is the i'm gonna take them out because i want to show you you got a speed or o speed red port red and then this one right here this is called the wilson hammer hyper hammer 2.8 well, the grips are always bad on these but i'm telling you right now the hammer itself as long as it ain't crack you always want to look you can see it looks kind of ugly but i think it's okay as long as it don't have a crack on it <clears throat> these things right here sell for about 30 bucks i think the prince one here sells between 20 and 30 bucks and the head right here this is in really good shape i don't have the cover for it it's only got two prince covers but still i think i have a head cover a head cover that sounds like a golf club head cover but anyway this thing right here sells for like 35 bucks and so not too bad getting all i got both all this for 25. i think the jacket itself will go for about 50 60 dollars and then you know around maybe maybe 100 bucks in tennis rackets depending on conditioning and what i take for offers so don't want to leave that out because someone offered me 20 25 bucks a piece on an out season of tennis right now i mean it's, it's not tennis season so i'll still take the money for the profits to get my money back so not too bad of a score there all right guys so last but not least i did pick up three single golf clubs here and usually if you look at my previous videos i do pick up a lot of golf clubs but you know sometimes they're not always out there i don't find them it's okay but hey we'll share these with you i do got a tailor-made center shaft putter this one's called the tpi 25 putter and a center shaft is so anytime you see a center shaft golf club usually it's worth some decent money i looked this one up i think it's worth like 25 bucks so nothing like crazy to run home about but still 25 bucks i paid five for it so not bad and then we got this right here so many people will talk about the other brand clothes most of the golf clubs that you find that are worth a lot of money are tailor-made tylers callaway nike mizuno all the name brands usually sell pretty decently but occasionally you'll find stuff like this this is called the xc1 wedge and what makes this thing worth a decent amount of money not, not a decent amount probably around 25 35 bucks i'll throw a comp in the screen but it is a 65 degree lofted um, wedge and normally the higher lofted wedges anything 60 degrees or above do sell pretty good so this one right here should give me at least i think like 30 bucks i haven't looked i haven't looked it up yet so i'll throw the comp on the screen for you and last but not least um we got this right here this is called a king cobra trusty trusty rusty wedge it's a 61 degree wedge so the, again a higher lofted wedge and it's designed to make this little rust right here you can put it in vinegar and usually the vinegar will bust all that off a little bit and make it like a clean finish but you know this right here i don't know i think maybe 20 25 bucks so about 60 70 bucks in golf clubs not too bad i spent 15 bucks on all three of them anyway guys that's the end of today's video i do appreciate everybody watching if you got good value out of today's video please don't forget to hit the like button it does help my channel out a lot again guys appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one see ya